Assalamu alaikum. My name is Akib and I am a freelance web developer. In today's video, we will learn how to create a QR code using Google Charts API. Before starting the video, if you are new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you will never miss any update from this channel. So let's dive into video. As you can see on my screen, I have created demo already. Let me show you. Here we will type our QR code data. Here will be the size. We will mention size and last we will choose the color. Click on QR code. As you can see, QR code has been generated. So we will create this system from scratch. So let's dive into code editor and create a new file with name index.php first of all we will create a form like this let me quickly create a form Okay, so now our form code has been created. Let's check the form. This is our local domain index.php. So as you can see now we have missing something here. I mean one field that is let me check that is color. Let's quickly add color as well. Okay, so now our form has been created. Uh, let's put some margin from the top. Okay, perfect. Now our form has been created. Let's create a QR code now. So, as you can see, uh, the form action on the same page. So, we will check. If the request is post, then we will get the form data and we will create a QR code based on this data. Let's start. So on the top of page, here, I will check in PHP code that by default I will place one variable post is equal to forms. Okay. I will explain this later. So now I will check. Submit and let me print the data so we can check we are getting everything in post or not. So let's check if data are coming or not. So let's print. Submit. So you can see we are getting data successfully on our page. Okay. Now let's save these data in variables. So first of all we will save data variable I mean we will save data into data variable ok 
Okay. Now let's copy this and create two more variables. Size, size, and color, color. And here we need to make post variable true. This variable we will use where we will uh, show the QR code. Uh, there we will check if the post is equal to true, then we will show the QR code. Otherwise, we will not show the QR code. Okay, if you notice here in QR code color, here is a slash we need to remove because in Google API we cannot pass the we cannot pass color code with hash. Okay, so we need to remove this hash. So what we need to do? We need to use PHP function. str replace. We need to use this function. So first of all, what we will remove? We will remove slash. You will replace slash with nothing and from post color okay let's check if we are getting correct or not let me submit again okay perfect so now it's time to create a QR code. Let's create a QR code. First of all, we need to go on Google and search for Google QR code API and click on first link. So here is the documentation of QR code API. So what we need to do is we need to copy the base URL this one paste it here okay second thing is we need to specify the chart type this one chart type chte chart type is equal to QR code then we need to specify the data our data chl is mean data chs it means size that's chs size is equal to that we are getting from our post variable size then next chl it's mean our code data that is equal to the data variable after that we need to specify color chco its mean color code is equal to color perfect now our code our code has been generated let's try to echo the code so we can make sure everything is working perfect Okay, so now we are getting this and let's go to this URL okay perfect our code uh, our QR code has been generated now let's show the QR code image under button so for that we need to go to the button under this button we will check If, if post is equal to true then we will show our cover code otherwise we will not show our code cover image so here we need to create a one Im uh, form group tag and let's make it text center and here we need to show our image 
so what will be the our image url our coward code variable coward code and let's put the class img float so it will be responsive okay so now our code has been created and let's test submit perfect as you can see our code has been created let's try another one and at this time let's put the peak level channel url now i think let's put some text here that will be much suitable so at this time we will create this and we will choose color different color like this and click on cover code perfect as you can see our code is creating now so let's test with mobile it's working or not okay so now let's see our code our code is working or not so let's open the our code scanner and scan the code as you can see the peak level is working perfect so that's it for this video if you if you are new on this channel please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will never miss any update from this channel thanks for watching stay tuned for next video bye bye